Hi there, my name is Kevin, and in this video, I'm going to show you a software tool that allows you to connect WhatsApp, LinkedIn, and a bunch of other stuff to your no code automation platform, whether it's NA10, Make.com, or anything else in between. I'll show you how to connect WhatsApp, get messages from incoming chats, connect them to a large language model so you can enhance them accordingly, and then send them back to WhatsApp so the receiver gets their reply. Whether you use this for your own automation business or for clients that you sell the solution to, there's a lot of potential to this. And the best part about all of this is that you don't need to connect the official WhatsApp API. You can do it easily, quickly, as I'll show you in the next few minutes. So let's get right into it. So this is unipile.com. It allows you to connect products like LinkedIn, WhatsApp, and even gives you other APIs. You can start building for free. So once you hit the build now button, you get logged in for free and there's it's all about api and connecting to the right tools right so there's a lot you can do with it as you'll see in a second once you are signed in you go to your accounts right here and this will ask you to connect the type of account that you want to use so in my case i went with whatsapp you just provide your whatsapp number or instead no i mean it just gives you a qr code and that allows you to scan it and it's used as a link device on your WhatsApp. So that is as easy as it gets. Once that is done, then you'll be able to start the whole thing right here. So we clip on this and this will give you the API 10. So this number will be different based on your specific account. And the port number as well will be different right here. So these are two numbers that I'll refer to in a couple of instances in this video. Uh, apart from that, you get webhooks right, right here. So this is where we'll create a webhook for our NA10 instance. So we can send data to it. And we'll also need to create an access token, which will allow us to connect, in this case, WhatsApp, to be able to be able to read, write, and so on and so forth. So those are the most important things. Over here, there's also the documentation button, which is a great resource that you'll spend some time in for sure. So there's the actual documentation about each of these. What I like to do is look at this API reference because this gives you, first of all, the endpoints very clearly labeled with their description so you can just use them. And I also like this handy corner right here where you can insert whatever it is you're inserting. And as you will see here, if you look over here, this is updating in real time so I can see what my request will look like. Apart from that, you are able to try it directly on their site. So you'll know whether the request that you will make will actually work or not when you make it within your NA10 or coding software or whatever, wherever you are making the request. So this is, I think, very, very handy. Some of the endpoints that I have found to be very useful are, when it comes to WhatsApp, are the messaging. So here you get list all chats. And you get list all messages from a chat. And if we look at list all chats here, you see that you need to include the subdomain, which is the one I showed you earlier right here. And then that's pretty much it because it's slash API slash v1 slash chats. This will allow you to get a chat ID, which then you can use in something like list all messages from a chat. So with this two-step process, you can then list all the messages from a specific chat because this requires this chat ID. And with this, you're also able to send messages back to the person that sent you the original message on WhatsApp. So very handy couple of endpoints to keep in mind. So list all chats and this list all messages from a chat. There is a lot though. You can retrieve messages, list all messages, retrieve an attachment. So if someone sends you a voice message, you would use this in order to retrieve that attachment. So here you get the message ID, attachment ID. So there's a lot that you can do with this. So let's just hop into NA10 and keep this slightly simple. So here, I'm going to build this from scratch. And all I need to do here is go here, go to webhooks. First of all, I'm going to create a new webhook and I'm going to choose, it's a messaging event. I'm going to give it a name, so YouTube test. It's on new messages. Hit continue, and I need to provide my webhook URL. So if I go here, type in webhook, I can grab the test URL from here, which I can then paste in here, and this will create a webhook for me. So this is the YouTube test. 
I also need to create a new access token. So if I go here, hit generate a token and say, this is YouTube video. Give it the scopes it needs and just hit generate. So this will give me the access token that I just copied to my clipboard because I will be using it very, very soon. And that's pretty much it in terms of all you need. So let's go back to my um, N810. And this is now listening for incoming events. So if I were to pull this up over here, and this is a simple group that I created just to test this out. If I type in something like test, and I listen for test event, type that in, and this should, okay, let me see. So let's double check this. Oh yeah, one thing you need to do uh, that always gets me is you need to change this to post. So this is posting an event. Send a message and that's pretty much it. So here you get the subject, you get the message, which are the two most important keys right here, because this is listening for all the conversations that are incoming from your WhatsApp. If you don't grab this information, this automation will run for every WhatsApp message that comes in, which might be what you want. In my case, I just want to focus it on one specific incoming channel, which is this WhatsApp group called Unipile WhatsApp Chat Grabber. So I'm going to filter based on this, which means that the next thing I need to do is add a filter. So over here, I'm just going to say, just filter this message and only keep the stuff where the subject is equal to this right here. So if I test the step, this now kept one item and discarded nothing. If this was something different, then if I test this, it would discard that because it, the group does not match. So let's just change that to grabber. And that's the part right here. What I want to do next is essentially give it some ability to respond to messages. So I'm just going to go with an AI agent here. I'm just going to say the prompt or the source for the prompt should be defined below. So here I'm just going to grab the WhatsApp message, which is this right here. And here under options, I'm just going to say you're a helpful assistant that answers user queries. I'm going to say today's date is, and I'm going to pass a longer variable. So I'm just going doing this so I can test this easily with this now variable. Okay, let's X out of that. Let's give it a chat model. So I'm going to go over here to open AI chat model. And I'll just drag myself back in the corner. Great. And let's give it some memory. Do we need memory? I mean, yeah, not really. Let's just leave that as this for now. So if we test this, so let's listen for a test event and let's go here and say, what's today's day? Uh, yeah, what's today's today? should be what's today's date, but this answer correct. So today's date is February 19, 2025. So the last thing I want to do here is send a message back to this WhatsApp specific channel. So I'm going to go to HTTP request. And if I go back to my, or to Unipile's documentation and look at send a message in a chat, this is what I'm looking for. So I need the subdomain and I need the chat ID. So here, the chat ID will be the one from the incoming message. So I'm just going to put one, two, three, four now. So you can see this populating. For the header, I need the API key that I copied before. I'm just going to paste that in there. So this now becomes a header right here. And for this, this will be the reply. So as you can see, this added a query string right here. I just copy this. I go back here. I import curl paste that in and hit import. All I need to double check is if I go back here, I just need to copy this and ensure I have the right number. So it's 10 and 14057. Because as you can see, this is different. So I need to paste that in there to replace it. Here I need to put in my chat ID. This looks good. And here, for some reason, this didn't come through. So this should be text and this is the reply. So for this, I'm going to drag the output from ChatGPT. And as for the chat ID, 
I just need to grab this and pass it along here. I'm just going to do that. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think it will. Yeah, so let's just grab that. And go in there. And now, if I go back to my WhatsApp and hit the step, that should send a message. So today's date is February 19, 2025. If I were to type in something random, like again, 123, 123, and hit test tab, this is now sending the information to my WhatsApp, so this is working correctly. So essentially, that's pretty much it. We get the webhook, we get information as we're listening for incoming messages. We filter that so we only store the information or we only keep the information coming in from this specific channel. We rep reply or we come up with a reply for the message that came in here, and then we send it back to the same WhatsApp chat. So those are the steps that I covered in this video. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but I hope that you get to see the power that this Unipile connected to an no-code automation platform gives you. And once you do that, you can start building on top of it and get what you need to get done, done. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom or under this video. And check out the link in the description as well for the blueprint to this video so you can get this right here directly at the click of a button and i'm also recording a an a10 course to take you from beginner to advanced and allow you to start using an a10 to its full capacity so yeah let me know what you think about that in the comments and i'll speak to you in the next video see ya